Hi guys and welcome back to my sixth knitcast, believe it or not, episode six, Time Flies. Um, I am not sure how long this is going to be today because I have been so sick all week. This is basically what my week has looked like. Painkillers and nasal sprays and stuff because I have had the worst sore throat ever. It has been so painful that I haven't been able to sleep even. So, really bad. And I am start finally starting to feel better now. And I don't know why this happened because it's... I never get sick usually, but this is like the third time this year alone. So it's, it's very weird. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting old. Do you think? Do you think that's it? Maybe I'm getting old. God, I hope not. Anyway, I don't feel old. I just feel sick. Actually, I'm feeling getting better. Anyway, welcome. Uh, welcome back if you're a returning viewer or just welcome if you're a new viewer. I hope you will enjoy spending a little time with me here. So, uh, what's up for today? Um, let's start with finished objects, uh, which is, will be really quick because there are none. I did not finish anything this week. Um, I have been so sick. I've been basically been lying on, on the couch and knitting a little bit in between uh, and trying to sleep and binge watching YouTube videos. That's basically what I've been doing. So I didn't really finish anything. Uh, but I did make progress on several pro projects and I did cast on a new thing that is for um, preparing for Christmas. I sometimes do these Christmas fairs and I um, I didn't do one last year and I am thinking about doing one this year because I kind of missed it. It's kind of nice, you know, just going just for for like a weekend and what I I have one product that I haven't brought earlier to my Christmas fairs for some reasons but I thought I would this year so this is the beginning of a snowman so you should have them he's like yay big so i started that and um oh okay. actually this is a finished object that i did make this week uh a uh, stitch marker i only made the one because i only needed one <laughs> um but um there will be more so I, I guess the, that could count as a finished object. But I did start a snowman, snowman, and I am thinking that I am going to make quite a few of these to bring. I don't know if I'm going to put them on Etsy. I might. I might put them on, on Etsy as well. We'll see how, how many I can muster to make. <laughs> but I, I started that anyway. And... <coughs> Excuse me, my throat is not really that good yet. Maybe I should just talk fast. I know if that helps. Um, I did uh, also work on my the spring socks, and I finished the first one. That's it there. Oh well, I, I finished the basic socks. I'm going to make uh, decorations for it as well. There you go. So it's just like a, a basing, two by one ribbing, very, very basic sock. And I have also um, almost finished the second one. Oh, I made a mess here. Why did I do that? Okay, so pretty far along on the second one as well. And once that is done, I am going to start making some decorations, I think for the side here. I'm thinking spring flowers of some kind. We'll see. That's the idea, anyway. Um, uh, this yarn is from um, Östergötlands Ullspinneri, Vijsjögarn. It's a two-ply wool, wool yarn, uh, spork weight, and I, I will link that below as well. I love this yarn. I knit so much in this yarn. It makes for really, really good socks and hats and mittens and everything and I can really really recommend working with this yarn. Plus um, uh, Börge and Ulla Karin who makes this yarn are just the nicest people ever. 
so I can recommend them for several reasons. Um, I will probably put in an order, I think, for more of that yarn soon, because my stash is diminishing as we speak, almost. <laughs> um, let's see, what else? I did... Uh, let's talk about the experiment shawl. Uh, you know, the one that I just cast on to to try to figure out how to use the increases and decreases because I want to make my own shawl patterns and um, I did work on that quite a bit and I changed colors and I you know tried different things and it was coming along just fine and then I put it aside and I put it aside for quite some time and when I picked it up again and as I'm looking at the pattern I started counting rows and I, I just I just couldn't figure out where I was and I couldn't make sense of the pattern and I know I did make some some changes that I was kind of just I had them in my head and I couldn't remember what I'd done so what happened is right now the experimental shawl looks like that yeah I ripped it back um, because it was, you know, it was an experimental project anyway, so it's, it's no big deal. And the thing is, I did have this brilliant idea about what I wanted to to do with that yarn instead, which kind of builds on the pattern that I was using for the experimental shawl. So it's not like it was a loss, it just, I just had a different idea yeah, to, to make some, something different. So that's what I'm going to do. Is this something weird about the light? I just feel like it's kind of like this. I don't know, maybe it's it's the weather outside because it's, it's so weird right now. It is like it's going to rain any minute, but it doesn't, you know? So it's, it's, it's weird, we'll see. Anyway, what, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I need some more water here. This is not going to be a long video, I'll tell you that. I do not have the vocal resources for it at all. What I have been working on most of all this weekend is this. Yay, the Bohemian Cardigan is finally getting somewhere. It took some time and I think, what is this, like the fourth time I've done this? I think so. I think I've ripped it back like three times before this and now so now I finished the first pattern and I have made the uh, this is uh, the whole where the pockets are going to be and I am I think I'm basically up to where the next pattern will start and I am absolutely loving this so I am so looking forward to continuing with this knit I so love this color it's so me, don't you think? Yes. And also, I do have more yarn for the next Bohemian Cardigan, uh, which will be in a red color base. That is coming, I think, within a week. So I want to make some, some real progress with this so that I can cast on the next one. Because this... <sighs> I want to knit that project forever and ever I think no I don't I actually, actually this kind of leads me to the next point here um, <coughs> I'm sorry one of the things that I uh, love the most about making my own designs and, and doing this stuff is the photo shoot and I actually I do photo shoots uh, with my stuff and I I can, you know, I can, I can sit there for hours and just knitting and I can, you know, picture in my head how I'm going to photograph this uh, object when I'm done with it. And this is also one of the reasons that I want to make many different in different colors because it makes just such awesome pictures if you have several objects. And, and I'm all about the color and the color work. You, I guess you've already figured that one out. And I like... I like the colors, the color work, and uh, several projects, and bringing them out into nature, like the the rustic look of nature, 
in combination with the stuff I make. And I, and I can, you know, like I said, I can sit for hours knitting and just, you know, picturing myself going out and uh, doing a, a whole photo shoot with this stuff. It's, they're, they're my models. My objects are my models. And I'm kind of thinking, oh, I'm going to find a tree and I can hang that there. Or I'm going to hike into the mountains for three days to this creek I know of. <laughs> I would totally do that. Totally. I would log all my finished objects and my knitting and my cameras and all that stuff just to get the perfect shoot for my for my stuff without hesitation. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Um, uh, yeah, I would do that. Um, I did actually uh, I did the first uh, Bohemian cardigan that I did. I did uh, a photo shoot just real quick out in my garden, I think last weekend. Uh, and I'll show you the picture of that. Or maybe I'll sh I did I think I did film the bit as well. Hmm, I'll add that at the end. I, I, look out for that. Uh, and you know, just I just kind of hung it up and I, I did some pictures and it's just, I love doing that. I, it's, um, you know, th there have been times when I have made um, like did socks or whatever and I've been crawling on my hands and knees out in the winter in the snow trying to get the perfect picture and people are just looking at me like I'm crazy, which Probably not that far from the truth, I guess. Um, but it's, it's, uh, this is my artwork. My knitting is my artwork, and I, I love capturing it on on film and photography uh, once it's done. It's, uh, yeah, I love doing that. So I have all these ideas for how I'm going to photo shoot this once I've knitted all the cardigans that I am going to, I'm going to do one in each size from small to an um, extra large. And uh, so what's that, so that's a small, medium, large, extra, four different ones I will be doing. And, and I'm going to take them with me out into nature and do um, a whole bunch of pictures. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. And uh, let's see what else. Um, yeah, that's basically it for knitting this week. Um, I wish, considering I've been home so much, I've been working from home, uh, which means I haven't had to com uh, commute like three hours a day. I uh, did not get that much knitting in anyway because I've been exhausted, so unfortunately. But, well, there you have it. Um, I didn't buy anything either, obviously, because I haven't been out of the house. I did, however, get these that I ordered from eBay, finally arrived. These are butterfly buttons, like wooden kind of buttons. You see that? That's okay. Oh, yeah. That's kind of cute. Like, oh, maybe if I do it like this. So I'm thinking I will sort of focus. I'm thinking I will use those for some kind of decorations. Maybe I'll use them on my spring socks. Who knows? Um, so that's that's the only thing new that has uh, arrived. Uh, what I have been doing instead, while lying on the couch feeling sorry for myself, uh, is planning. So I have. Uh, I told I think I told you last week that I was uh, going to make a like a Christmas special or a, like an advent calendar just a, a short segment that will go every each day in uh, December up till December 24th what I did this week was I was started planning a Halloween special which will be some knitting some other crafts and I don't know maybe some costumes and some foods Something like that. So I have a, I have a few ideas. So I've been kind of outlining uh, a project uh, like that, and um, yeah. So I think that's it. Short and sweet this week. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to get off the camera before my throat acts up again and I start coughing again. I'm very sorry about that. Um, but um, yeah. Still here, still alive and kick in, and I will go 
continue curing myself and have some tea and just sit on the couch and knit. So I hope you all had a good weekend and um, I will see you next time. Bye. Thank you.